Sherry Ann Baker is convinced that a form of cannabis oil called Rick Simpson has shrunk the remaining part of a golf ball sized tumor in her brain. Her last MRI says that the tumor is completely cleared, and her most recent medical report even used words like unremarkable. I do one gram of Rick Simpson oil a day, and this is keeping me alive. I had no radiation, I've had no chemo, I've refused it. They've like pushed it on me several times, and I keep telling them absolutely not. Because with my research and talking to other people, to doctors, other cancer patients, to growers, to activists, to, to God, there's so many of us out there, cannabis heals. The oil contains a higher amount of THC, a component of marijuana that makes you feel high. The government of Canada is set to make edibles and hash legal in October, but Rick Simpson oil will remain illegal. Sherry Ann does not care. I don't know if that'll ever become legal. And that's why we need people to listen to our stories because it needs to be legal. And people need to start getting behind us and supporting us and helping us because it is a cure for cancer. And there's hundreds, if not thousands of people out there that are, are still living because of it, but are too afraid to talk about it. But you know what? When I was told two years ago that I have five to 10 years to live at most, even with my tumor removed, I don't care if it's illegal or not. It's saving my life, and I'm going to tell as many people as I can. Melissa Rolston, CEO of Team MD, a holistic company that works with patients and their specific health care needs, says that when it comes to cannabis as medicine, there is no one size fits all approach. Eventually, in time, cannabinoid therapy being prescribed alongside chemo treatments that's done in a way that's similar to chronic pain patients being prescribed opioids with cannabinoid therapy to reduce their opioid, um, the amount of opioid that they're taking. And I really think that that, that could be a possibility with cancer. Sherry Ann eats clean and is in exceptional shape. All choices that she says are easy to make when fighting for her life. I work out every day. I was in the gym. I was in the gym two weeks after I had brain surgery, okay? Seriously. And, and yeah, like I said, it was a bit of a process. I staggered and, and I stumbled, but I became strong because I had to be, become strong. And I became a fighter because I have to fight because I want to live. And this is what I've done. And, and I just want other people to know my story. Like I said, I'm not God. God forbid. I am not God. But this is all I've done. I mean, it's not all I've done. I've worked hard, you know, and, and you have to be very disciplined. But like I said, I want to live. For Bridge City News, I'm Ainsley O'Reilly.